Hi, I'm Mr. Cowan and welcome to my music room. Today we're going to learn how to assemble the trombone. Now you may be thinking to yourself, I know how to put the trombone together. Well, through my 30 years of teaching instruments, I'm always shocked how difficult it is to put together the trombone. It looks like some type of extraordinary plumbing job, like like this scene over here. Take a look. Oh no. <laughs> Unbelievable. I can't believe it. <laughs> Well, putting the trombone together doesn't have to be that difficult. But before we start, let's do a really quick review of the parts of the trombone. First of all, we have the slide, and you can always remember that because it, it slides. Also, we have the bell section, which actually, ding, 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 kind of looks like a bell. Up here is your tuning slide. We'll talk about that more later on at another time. And also we have the mouthpiece, the part that you buzz your lips into. And we'll talk about that a little bit in a different lesson. So, in order to put the trombone together, uh, you have to carefully open up your trombone case on the floor or on a secured table, some place where you have lots of room to operate, lots of room to uh, maneuver comfortably without bumping into anybody. Um, I'm not going to review or talk about how to open up the trombone case because there are so many different brands and models, but usually the general rule is the name, the brand name, is the top half of the case and the latches usually go upward motion and once you do that you carefully open the case and you have to sometimes find the latches within the case to release the slide and the bell section. Once you do that take out the slide first. Now I'm going to come a little closer to the camera. You can see here that there are little threads that attach to the bell section and on this side is the part that you put your mouthpiece in. So uh, what I'd like you to do is find the threads and then what you're going to do after you find the threaded section you're going to turn it so it's facing your face and you're going to sit down and put it right opposite your right knee. And on a video production, sometimes it's very difficult to get the right and the left correctly. So this is my right hand side, and I'm gonna turn around, and just to show you, you should be raising the same hand. So uh, once you figure that out, and I want to make sure that you keep the slide with the threaded section right next to your knee. Then, you can go ahead and carefully take out the bell section. Now, uh, the bell section, you want to face it so it's in a 90 degree direction, and you're going to put it right on top of the slide where the threads are. And once you get really good at this, you can lift the trombone up. And then you can just tighten the claps down onto the trombone and you have about a 90 degree uh, interval between the bell and the slide which might be a little bit too much for playing position so you may have to just gently turn it towards the slide and then make sure it is secure then you find the mouthpiece and you put it in the mouthpiece section and do not pop it. It will get stuck and you need a special mouthpiece puller to take it back out. 
and then you just give it a little turn and then you have your trombone securely in place. We'll talk about how to hold the trombone in the next lesson. To take the trombone apart, you can have it on the floor, unscrew the mouthpiece, put it down into the case, undo the joining section where the screws onto the threads and gently rock it back and forth and be careful not to hit the bell into the slide. Any dent on the slide, if you bump into a table or another music stand, any little dent will cause the slide to move kind of slowly and bumpy. So you want to keep the slide and protect it very carefully. Then you go ahead and you put the trombone slide back into your case. And that's how you put the trombone together. Real quickly, the threads, trombone, tighten, move it a little bit closer, mouthpiece, little turn, and there you go.